We're in the final rounds of the 380 ammo quest for the micro pistols. And this candidate is going to be the Federal Premium Hydroshock. Now the Hydroshock did surprisingly well in the bear gelatin test. It was one of the first rounds that actually met the specification. I was getting pretty depressed testing 380 rounds before I ran into the, the Hydroshocks and the Gold Dots. Um, but in clothed gelatin, uh, the Hydroshock has a history, a uh, reputation of not performing well through clothed gelatin. Now let me explain briefly why we do the clothed gelatin test. I mean, obviously not every attacker who attacks somebody is going to be, you know, stark naked. Not everybody is a, is a shirtless jogger who goes attacking people. So clothing has always been a factor. And denim or clothing, heavy clothing, can clog the hollow point cavity in a hollow point bullet and prevent the bullet from expanding. So what you often find in a heavy denim test is that the bullets penetrate further than they do in bear gelatin. In bear gelatin, there's nothing to interfere with the hollow point, so it expands and as the bullet expands, it can't travel as far in gelatin. So this seems counterintuitive. A lot of people seem to think that, you know, the barrier of the heavy clothing will prevent the bullet from penetrating. And in general, that's not really true. What ends up happening is the barrier of the heavy clothing or the heavy denim, what I'm using is four layers of 16 ounce per square yard denim as per the International Wound Ballistic Association protocol. So it's an unrealistic test. This is not to emulate how somebody dresses. This is a worst case scenario. Four layers of heavy denim is, is serious worst case scenario. So you put that in front of the gel and then when the bullet hits it, it will usually interfere with the bullet's ability to expand. And that can lead to what we call bullet failure and gross over penetration. And the hydroshock has been around a long time. It was one of the first really successful hollow point designs. But as this emphasis on heavy clothing has come about, Federal and all the other manufacturers have introduced newer, higher technology bullets, and the Hydroshock is an old design. How will it perform from the little 380s, specifically the approximately 2.8 inch long barrel 380s? That's why we have genuine organic ballistic gelatin. That's why we've got four layers of heavy denim cloth that meets the IWBA protocol. And I got a whole bunch of Hydroshocks. So I'm going to head to the range and put these through this gel and see how they perform in this worst case scenario. All right, the results are in on the Hydroshocks, and uh, once again, the Hydroshocks surprise me. Um, yes, the denim appears to have interfered with their ability to expand. As I look in the gel, I see little to no expansion, but I see solid penetration. I mean, the, the furthest one here is, is about 15, maybe 15 and a quarter inches, and the shortest one, that's got to be over 13. So they didn't expand. We're not getting a very big wound profile, but we're getting good solid penetration. The minimum we're looking for is 12, but in reality, if you could have 14 to 15, that's really quite a bit more desirable because that, that makes the bullet that more effective. If it's moving fast, it's able to inflict a lot of damage. Whereas by the time it gets to the end of its travel and it's going, you know, you got a bullet that's, that's going to go 12 inches. Well, by the time it gets up to 10 or 11, it's going so slow. It's not really able to do much damage. It, it, it'll still poke a hole in whatever it's going through, but it, it doesn't have the ability to just, you know, have a temporary cavity expanding out and have just ripping of flesh going on as it's penetrating. So a 15 inch bullet is a pretty solid performing bullet. However, they look like they didn't expand worth beans. So I'm going to have to pull these out of the block and really explore them to, before we can come to a conclusion on how well the Hydroshocks really did. The shortest bullet went to 13 and a half inches. Then we had one at 14, one at 14 and a half, and one at 15 and a quarter. For the fifth shot, we have to actually go into a second gel block because it over-penetrated. It actually went to 18 and three-quarters inches. 
Okay, I think we can answer the first question. Does the denim interfere with a Hydroshock's ability to expand? Oh, definitely it does. Every one of them has got to plug a denim in there and not one of them expanded the way that they should have. But the penetration on them was great. Uh, largely due to the fact that they are still relatively small. We didn't get any real expansion, but we did get some of these petals here that are sticking out. And what that means is that, yes, in some ways they are bigger, very slightly bigger than a full metal jacket would have been, but these sharp edges, uh, they created a lot of drag, which slowed the bullet down and kept it from grossly over penetrating. So we got an average penetration of 15.2 inches, which is fantastic. Now, the downside is it's not 15.2 inches of, of pristine, pure hollow point ammunition. It's, it's 15 inches of barely more than full metal jackets. In, in fact, this one didn't expand at hardly all. It changed its shape just the tiniest bit, and I think it was more the presence of that plug of denim is probably what added the, the drag that slowed it down, but that one went over 18 and 3 quarters inches. But I'm still a little conflicted on them because they didn't perform as they were designed to. They didn't open up and expand like the Gold Dots did or like the Hornady Customs. or, And I don't like the idea of having to rely on a bullet not doing what it's designed to do. On the other hand, that's kind of theory. And in the reality, in the performance, what we're actually testing is performance. The Hydroshocks delivered penetration and they delivered a little bit of expansion. Final report on the Hydroshocks. I'm Hydra shocked. What? This round performed so much better than I was expecting. I, I originally thought that this was going to be a dud. And then it did really well in the bear gel. And then we got to the denim and it did really pretty well. I mean, the penetration, four rounds averaged over 14 inches. I had one that went too far and that disappointed me. But. You know, if you had to dump the magazine at an attacker, you know, four out of five are going to be really, really solid hits. And the fifth one, at least it didn't come up short. It went too long, which isn't ideal, but it's better than coming up too short. The thing about the Hydroshocks is that they kind of succeeded despite themselves. You know, I kind of kind of got the impression they're a little bit of a Mr. Magoo there. You know, the bullets shredded themselves as they went. But they came up with the right answer. I would prefer that the bullet expanded uniformly and perform more predictably. I would prefer that. But we're not here looking for my preferences. We're looking at actual performance. And as far as the performance goes, I can't knock the Hydroshocks. I think they did really well. So stay tuned. Keep watching. We got more episodes of the Ammo Quest before we find the final winner. So subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified when the new videos are posted.